Hello everyone, as usual it's me Pavlo and today we'll be talking about DD Hi-Fi Mountain 3 deck. As you can understand it's the third iteration of their popular USB Type-C uh, deck uh, and they uh, surpassed themselves both in terms of design, but it's hard to believe actually, and also in terms of sound, uh, delivering better in both aspects. But you will see it for yourself uh, in this video. And as a small uh, bonus, I will show you and tell about their new interconnect cable BC44Net. Premium offer with uh, Pentacon terminations on both ends that can uh, find usage in many setups. So let's have a closer look. As an appetizer before the main course, which will be Mountain 3, we have BC44Net. And as name suggests, it's the premium interconnect cable with uh, two pentacon connectors on both ends and the net here means that you getting really sophisticated wiring structure, reinforcement, uh, shielding and stuff like that. You can get uh, 10 cm version for the uh, for $120 and 15 cm uh, for $130. So it's for those who like to use some portable deck separated from the amplifier or for some scenarios where your deck is nearby from the amplifier not the portable one and you can see that it really fulfills the expectations two really solid uh, titanium uh, uh, shelled jacks on both ends and really thick uh, but at the same time flexible cable in between it has eight strands and used uh, dual layer reinforcement. But if you're interested in more details, actually it's better to visit DD Hi-Fi site uh, to read all the information because it's uh, sophisticated in terms of insulation, reinforcement and other things uh, used. Uh, main usage is for the portable setup, but also for that cases when you have uh, some kind of stack where we use deck and an amplifier desktop ones and uh, they are using uh, pentacon connectors more and more now it's flexible but it's super reliable it's natural in terms of sound i didn't experience any difference in sound so really transparent as interconnect should be and here is the third iteration of uh, beloved by many mountain it's a T-shaped uh, deck for those who want uh, the most compact for footprint uh, for their smartphone usage. On the back side you can see technical specifications. So the most interesting is two Cyrus Logic 43198 inside and 120 milliwatts for balanced output and 90 milliwatts for single-ended. So pretty normal figures for IEMs and uh, power efficient uh, full size headphones and inside you get uh, USB interface uh, washer and uh, but most likely I, you won't need them and uh, actually device itself and also you getting lanyard which is already attached and of course in terms of design it's a real masterpiece it's uh, pleasant to look, pleasant to touch, really great materials, uh, really interesting shape. And of course, you can see the level of uh, uh, metal work put in the creating of this device. And everything is really simple. You plug it to your smartphone or any other source of the sound. Here is a small LED indicator. And on the other side you have uh, 3.5 and uh, balanced connectors and you connect your headphones or earphones and you enjoying the music. Actually, I don't think there is much else to say. Really straightforward, minimalistic, but uh, how well it looks. If you are interested in power consumption, here are the measurements. I'm using iPad as a transport because it delivers enough power. And uh, as a lord, I am using my Meza Imperian 2. In terms of sound, it's a great, natural, well-balanced deck with slight hint of warmth in sound, 
but it's a really small amount of coloration. Actually, uh, speaking about worms, it's also getting slightly warm when it's working, but uh, not too much, at least in my usage scenarios. And uh, in terms of uh, sound signature, it's really pleasant. It's technical with a good amount of details, but at the same time uh, it doesn't sound dry or monitoring or something like that. So, low frequencies go to maximum depths, uh, they are well balanced, normal, they have normal resolution, uh, decent uh, but not maximum amount of small nuances, so uh, they sound uh, really well with both uh, acoustic instruments and natural instruments and with synthesized low frequencies. There is no added uh, punchiness, uh, the bass doesn't try to sound super fast or super dry or deliver some super deep rumbling, but at the same time what is present in the record will be played really well with uh, nice texturing. And first example it's uh, the new Appalachians uh, Wayfaring Stranger classical audiophilic recording with nice uh, really um, uh, full-bodied uh, bass uh, sounding uh, really low and deep, but at the same time not exaggerated and not uh, too moved forward. And thanks to a bit of additional weight here, you're getting more weight and body and wow factor for the low frequencies, but not too much and this uh, double bass sounds uh, pretty natural. Mids are natural, balanced with a good uh, balance between details and uh, um, overall musicality. So you're getting good amount of small nuances, but not too much, not to be super nitpicking or cri super critical for the quality of records. Instruments have a good uh, body, vocal sounds uh, pretty nice, also with good body. But there is no attempt to boost uh, microcontrast or to highlight uh, emotions or dynamics to make sound uh, more exciting. Imagery stage is not huge, but it's above average. It's really uh, neatly built with good uh, 3D positioning and uh, with good uh, uh, locating of everything on the imaginary stage. Also, depth layering is done here really nicely. And Example for the mid frequencies, it's Have a Nice Day by Bon Jovi. Uh, nice uh, juicy guitars, great emotional vocal, so nothing is mm, over pushed, nothing is too forward, everything sounds really well mixed and really coherent and pretty enjoyable. Treble have, uh, uh, has a good extension, not maximum, but pretty nice. It's uh, really balanced in terms of attacks and decays. Uh, layering is super basic, but it's uh, okay for this price range. And uh, uh, at the same time, you're getting really proper amount of energy put into the treble and the nice amount of uh, details and nuances. Treble is not sharp, not fatiguing, but at the same time, it's not rolled off or subdued or like veiled or something like that. And Example for the treble, it's uh, Dire Straits, your latest trick, and that uh, saxophone part requires nice treble performance, guitars require good performance in terms of treble, and uh, this deck uh, plays really nicely. Maybe not at the, at the level of some more high-end devices, but in a really enjoyable way with a good amount of overtones and overall naturalness. In terms of pairings, uh, this deck created with IEMs in mind first of all, and it uh, plays uh, superb with such type of load. Absolutely black background, uh, precise control and the knife of driving power for the vast majority of IEMs on the market. No background noise, no hum or something like that. And actually it uh, plays uh, really well with uh, full-size headphones because uh, it has uh, 120 milliwatts, not too much, but for the uh, dynamic drivers with low impedance, uh, I mean not only low, but not high impedance, it's pretty okay. And with efficient uh, planar magnetic headphones, it also plays really well with decent control, especially on the balanced output without uh, any problems. 
It has a really good implementation of balanced and uh, single-ended output, uh, no difference uh, except of uh, different power, so you can use both outputs with the same level of the sound. I've seen that uh, mentioned, somewhere was mentioned that it supports inline microphone, but I didn't test it, uh, unfortunately. And uh, speaking about the compressions, in this price range there are a lot of decks, uh, and this one is like one of the best. Uh, I won't be going into that uh, uh, different compressions, like this one is slightly warmer, this one is slightly uh, colder. No, actually in this price segment almost all decks are leaning towards this uh, signature being natural, but at the same time musical, and DD Hi-Fi nailed it uh, perfectly. So, if you're looking for a good uh, deck with nice sound, reasonable price, and absolutely uh, stylish design, it's, a, it's an option for you to consider. Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention, and have a great day!